You know, our main text for today is found in uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 16 to 18. Let me read that for all of us. The Bible tells us, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Let's uh, all bow down our heads and pray. Let's have a short word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this time that we are together. God, we are in this church. We belong in this uh, church community. We pray that you would touch our hearts, minister to us, and Lord, that you would come out this room, change, God, a different person, a better person, all because of your grace. Thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. So we're going to talk about thankfulness. And uh, you know what? As we are preparing for this topic, you know, see uh, Pastor Alan who preached in the morning services until 1 p.m. kanina, and I, while we're preparing for this, talagang we, we saw a lot of uh, research, a lot of videos, a lot of books, okay? Marami nang nagawa about the topic of thankfulness. And take note, these are people who are not necessarily Christians, Ito po ay mga scientists, mga psychologists, mga pare, mga monks, mga, uh, mga counselor. Okay, not necessarily Christians, but a lot of things, a lot of research. And hindi po natin dadaanan isa-isa, yung mga Harvard University research and all. I-kakapsulize na lang po natin. In a nutshell, this is what the world is saying about thankfulness. Our world says, okay, that it is very, very very, very healthy for, for you to be thankful. Okay, it would do you good. Okay, bigyan natin ha, yung mga dimensions. Sabi nung uh, isang research, ano, yung mga tao daw na mapagpasalamat, people who are grateful and have that kind of outlook in life, there are people who are uh, more peaceful. Okay, they know how to cope with stress. Talagang, sige, okay, I know how to relax. So, mas peaceful. Mentally, it's healthy. Not only mentally, but you know, also emotionally. Okay, when you're a grateful person, hindi yung, yung EQ mo, hindi mababa, hindi ka... But you are um, happy. You tend to be happy. Okay, like this picture. Yan. No, ito naman yung talagang daddy-daddy. No? Picture po ng anak ko to. Okay? Sorry, ayan yung picture, masaya siya eh. Alam niyo yan, pag nagpapalaki ng baby, bihira lang, kaya pipicture mo na. So, emotionally, when you're grateful daw, you tend to become happy. Actually, a monk, okay, who, who spoke in one of the TEDx conference, sabi niya, matanda na to, well-respected, sabi niya, not, he's, not, he's not actually a Christian, but he's an interfaith, ano, sabi niya, may wisdom sa sinabi niya. Sabi niya, the key, okay, hap, ito sabi niya, happiness will not lead to uh, thankfulness. It's actually thankfulness that will lead to happiness. Okay? So, it's a starting point. It's not something that you chase. Diba? Ang pag-feeling ko, nakakoto, happy na ako and all. No, so for him, diba? That's, a, that's a wisdom, okay? Being thankful results to being happy. Okay? So, emotionally healthy, mentally healthy. Pangatlo, it's physically healthy. It makes you fit, strong, and actually research says it makes you lo- look younger. Okay? Sino ba dito gustong mas mukhang mag- maging mukhang bata? Libre ng uh, anti-aging? Okay, yan. Thankfulness. Okay, mas, uh, it helps us actually even in that research, no? sabi doon, people who are thankful tend to live longer than people who are grumpy, people who are discontent and always complaining, okay, self-absorbed. So, ang laking, grabe lang yung benefit ng ano, even physically. Ito pa, isa pang napaka-importante for all of us. It's not just uh, healthy physically, but even relationally. And there's a story actually of a young woman who saved her marriage because he learned to put, to practice yung thankfulness. Okay, yung marriage niya in cracks, but you know, uh, she lived a life, pinractice niya, yung a life of thankfulness. And yun, naging okay yung marriage nila. And the same way with us, kung hindi ka pakasal, you know, it would do you good with, even with your friendships. If you know how to appreciate people, to thank them, it strengthens your friendships with people. So you become a people magnet, you become a blessing to people. Ito, last but not the least, no? So, hindi lang relationally, mentally, emotionally. Alam ko, maraming mga business people who attends our church. You know what? It's also healthy for you financially. 
Okay, if you have, you have a business, diba? may research din na uh, talagang pag marunong ka magpasalamat even sa customer service mo, talaga it would increase profits. There's uh, this uh, a survey, there's this uh, story of a jewelry shop that, uh, that trained their staff to really to thank genuinely yung lahat ng customers na papasok. So imagine a jewelry shop, pagpasok mo palang jewelry shop, di ba? Tumitingin ka lang, tapos sabihin niya, oh, thank you for visiting, for dropping by, you know, for checking out our items. So, lahat ng staff trained to say thank you and appreciate, talagang pumapasok pa lang, di pa bumibili. That's why, nung na, yung customer, yung ano lang talaga, yung atmosphere kakaiba, napapabili sila. So, talagang, it works for them also. And actually, as I'm uh, scrolling uh, the local channels in our, in our, in our nation, in TV lang, ano, Nakakatawa kasi may isang TV network, talagang alam nila yung principle na to at they're applying it. Okay? Papapansin nyo yun pag sa commercial, di ba? Sabihin. Kapamilya, thank you. <laughs> so may, may thank you talaga. Talagang kita mo, even, even this TV network, talagang sabihin niya, Kapamilya, thank you. Di ba talagang every commercial, parang oh, gusto ko laging bumalik sa channel na to. Ha? Kasi na-appreciate ka. You know, in a nutshell, again, the world would tell us that it works. And you know what? I'm not gonna end here. I'm not here, you know, preaching about all the benefits of uh, thankfulness, this virtue. I am here to preach to you God's word. You know what? As believers, I believe that we should go beyond, you know, the pag pragmatic motivation. When you say pragmatic, yun yung practical, it works. Not that those things are bad, it's good. Okay, but as you'll see later, meron pang mas ano, mas may pang hugutan pa tayo. Okay, because as men and women of God, yung motivation natin, okay, on being grateful should be simply because God says so. Dahil sinabi ni God, dahil tatay natin siya at tayo mga anak niya, and He desires that all of us, His children, would be people, would be children who are grateful, we must demonstrate it because He simply said so. And we obey Him out of relationship. Now, let's look at uh, what the Bible tells us when it comes to uh, thankfulness. Yo, binasa ho natin kanina yung text na to, and I, I want to share three things okay, about what uh, this text tells us about thankfulness. Okay? Yung background na nga po pala ng 1 Thessalonians, so mapapansin nyo, actually five chapters lang yan. So, nasa final instructions na siya, chapter 5, and this is one of the final instructions. So, parang New Year, matatapos na yung taon natin, and parang fitting lang, no? but to, to close with the practical side, okay? And um, previous niyan sa 1 Thessalonians, we're gonna read that, it talks about the power of the gospel and how a person could uh, live a new life and things like that. But at the end, again, it became practical and it tells us, you know, it's part of Christian life to live a life of gratitude. Now, uh, three truths on gratitude and thankfulness. First, what is thankfulness? Thankfulness, actually, pag mapapansin natin sa text na to, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, Give thanks. So, pag natin, actually, the first thing we need to acknowledge is that this virtue is a command. Okay? You know, my heart as a pastor, my heart as a, as a people, as a person who wants uh, people to enjoy the benefits of this word, you know, my heart is for us to come in terms to our relationship with the word. Okay, dapat yung relationship natin sa word, we would acknowledge it and once and for all, talagang sabihin natin, Lord, your word, this is the final authority in my life. Whatever it says, I will obey. I will attend church, not for me to know things, but so that I could do things by your grace. You know, it, there's a verse in uh, Proverbs. Proverbs is a, a book in the Bible, punong-puno ng practical application, wise living, and you know, you would uh, actually reap um, changes and fruitfulness in your life. You apply uh, the, the concepts there. And in, there, in this one verse in uh, uh, in Proverbs 4, chapter 4, sabi dito, no? Take hold of my instructions. Okay? Don't let them go. Guard them for they are the key to life. I love how NLT says, no? In NLT kasi mas malinaw yung translation. Sabi niya, hold on to instruction. Do not let it go. Guard it well for it is your life. It is your life. Hold on to the word. Okay, not just on the topic of gratefulness, but on everything that the Bible talks us about. Whenever it gives us instruction, we obey. Because the Bible, the Scripture, is not a divine book of suggestions. It's a divine book of 
instructions. That's why we have to come to terms when it comes to our relationship with the word, Lord, I humble myself. I, I know that you are wiser and I submit to whatever your word teaches. And especially in this topic of gratefulness, not because of all the benefits, it's good. We know the benefits, but we are on our way, on our journey to become a thankful person because, Lord, this is your will. This is uh, what you said in your word. This is your instruction. Yung naalala ko lang yung isang eksena sa Star Wars. No? Sino ba mga Star Wars uh, fanatics dyan? Don't worry, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna spoil it. But, you know, there's a scene in, uh, I think, in episode 2 when uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know, he was correcting his uh, young padawan or yung disciple niya, yung tinitrain niya na maging uh, uh, senior Jedi or master Jedi. Kasi there was uh, this chase, may nahabol sila na kaaway. And ito, alam naman natin, ano, siguro sa mga nakakalam, no? Anakin Skywalker, the young padawan, yung personality niyan, yung madiskarte siya, medyo, uh, alam mo yun, talented siya, madiskarte siya, pero minsan hindi siya nakikinig dun sa mentor niya. So there was one time na hulog niya yung kanyang lightsaber. Okay, on their chase na hulog niya, hindi niya hinanap talagang, di, ako lagot, lagot ka sa akin. Pero at behind him is, was his uh, master Jedi. Nakita yung lightsaber. So kinuha niya. Kinuha niya. Talaga. Nung meet na sila, ito yung sabi niya. Next time, don't ever ever lose this. Okay? Ito yung itsura niya. Sabi niya, don't lose it. This weapon is your life. Come on. May mga Jedi's ba dito? <laughs> You know, we may not be Star Wars, uh, ano mo yun, Jedi, or not living in the reality. That's fiction, that's sci-fi. But you know what? We are in the kingdom of light. And as disciples, and as believers, this is our life saver. Come on, palakpo naman natin yung word ni God. I'm not mad, I'm just passionate. If you're believe, a believer, you have to have this. You have to have the Word of God. Alright? Not just statistics and research. You have to have this. Actually, nakakatawa ho yung mga research na ganun kasi it actually confirms what God has already said in His Word. Kaya pag in mo talaga yung grateful living, thankfulness in your life, you'll see the benefits in all dimensions of life. Talaga makikita mo yung fruitfulness and the blessings that it gives you. Okay, so... Si God, minsan kasi no, yung first point pa lang, di ba? gratefulness is a command. Para namang si God ba medyo parang bossy na parang, di ba nagpa-frown ka agad tayo, parang medyo nag-struggle tayo. Because as people, di ba, as, as, uh, you know, as individuals, we don't want to be told what to do. Ayaw natin na bi- parang binubuli tayo at sinasabi sa atin yung mga dapat natin gawin. We're self-made, di ba? We, we study in school and all, di ba? But, you know, when it comes to God giving us commandments, dapat iba yung perception natin. Okay, we should see it in light of a relationship. That when God gives you an instruction, you obey because you know that His in- intentions are for your good. First John tells us, you know, this is love for God. To obey His commandments, to keep His commandments. And His commandments are what? Are not? Hindi dapat mabigat. If you have a relationship with Him as a father, all His commands you could take delight in. And say, Lord, grabe, thank you. I know I'm gonna benefit from that. I'm gonna obey you. So, yung, yung fact lang na alam mo na tatay mo siya when he gives instruction, not just on in the, in the topic of gratefulness, ha, but in every single topic that the Bible tells us. You know, ngayon ho, uh, bilang magulang, magulang na ho ako ngayon, not that I bully people, no? but I mean, I'm now a parent. Okay? And as a parent, you know, I imagine my daughter, our daughter, uh, Isabel, because right now she's still an infant, so we have to establish her dependent pa siya sa amin. But on the time that, uh, you know, when the time comes, by the time comes that she now, she now can run, she now can hold things, you know, ito na yung kailangan mo siyang instrakan. Kailangan mo siyang bigyan ng instructions. Don't touch the electric fan, di ba? Do not play with knife, di ba? So, kasi you know better. So, in the same way, when God gives his instructions, when He gives us commands, dapat ganun yung tingin natin. This is our life. And we're gonna hold on to what God says. <laughs> Walang magulang. Ito yung sagi sinasabi ng tatay namin. I, I believe, talagang ngayon naintindihan ko na siya, ngayon tatay na rin ako. Walang magulang na nagnanais na ikakasama ng kanyang mga anak. And all the parents say, Amen. Diba? Minsan lang, nagkakatalo lang sa the way we say it. Diba? Minsan, talagang passionate tayo, talagang ano na natin. But you know, that's true. 
And kung tayo, sabi nga sa word, di ba? If you, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, sinasabi lang naman ni God na compared to His holiness as a father, yung goodness natin parang evil. But the point is there, alam nyo, kung, si, kung tayo nga, kahit nga hindi natin kilala si God, tapos maroon tayong bigay ng mabubuting uh, regalo sa mga anak natin, eh paano pa kaya si God? Who is holy? Who is perfect? Who wants all the best for us? And so, we need to see His commandments in that light. Okay, huwag tayo mag-isolate pag may mga alam nating mali na tayong ginagawa. No, run to God. You can still receive His grace. Okay, and, and trust Him. And you know what? On the topic of thankfulness, so just uh, looking at that, makikita mo marami talagang benefits. Eh. Number one, when you look in the Word, it builds up your faith. People who are grateful are people who could believe God for greater things. If you are grumpy, if you are ano mo yun, uh, entitled and self-absorbed, di ba? Mahirap, mahirapan tayo dyan. Mahirapan tayo mag-celebrate ng New Year or to face it with, with uh, positivity. You know, there's an author who said, show me a complainer. Okay, pakita mo sa akin. Pakita mo kung complainer na tao. Show me a complainer and I'll show you a person who will struggle to believe God for great things. Because murmuring and complaint, you know, opposite yan ng gratitude and faith. So if you want to be a person of faith, you know, build up. You know, uh, naalala ko lang, no, kasi kami po, last year, ito po yung faith goal namin ng asawa ko, that we would have a baby. Okay, so for months, kala mo, tagal, eh, no? But for months, but you know, we really say, sabi namin, Lord, kailangan na, Lord, gusto na talaga namin. Pero nung nandun na kami sa point, na sabi namin, Lord, actually, we want to thank you. Okay, the fact na we are in a relationship, Lord, na may forever, oh Lord, thank you for this. Diba? Sweet, diba? But, pero nasettle mo na, may mga ano tayo dito, young people. Diba? So, nasettle mo na, Lord, we thank you for your life. We found out things to be grateful for. Rather than murmur na, Lord, alam ko mahirap, but, you know, the time na naging grateful na kami, yung hindi na namin niisip, we, we didn't strive anymore, that was the time when, when God blessed us with a baby. Okay, so, whether a baby, a vehicle, or uh, you know, a relationship that you're believing God for, learn to be grateful. And it will build up your faith to believe God for the best that He has for all of us. Also, hindi lang it builds up our faith, but it also causes us to overcome temptation. There's a verse in Ephesians, sabi doon, Let there be no coarse joking, filthiness, and sin among you. Rather, let there be thanksgiving. So, yung thanksgiving rin pala, weapon din pala to, against sin. Okay, against temptation. Kasi pag marunong ka magpasalamat, okay, mas, na, alam mo yun, mas nasa tamang pag-iisip ka and mas nakaka-overcome ka ng mga kasinungalingan that the enemy tries to, uh, to throw at you. Okay? So it also uh, allows you to overcome temptation. Again, uh, it also blesses your relationship. I remember a person no, who decided to give away his 13-month uh, uh, pay, his bonus. Instead of uh, throwing a lot of parties, he decided to buy... Uh, food gifts and food bags and give it house to house. And there was uh, this house na pinasuka niya, babae po yung tumanggap. And sabi ng babae, bakit ngayon ka lang? Why just now? Why just arrived now? And then when she opened it, no cash? Really? Parang, grabe di ba? Sige sa inyo, parang, grabe ka, hindi mo alam sacrifice ko dyan. Di ba? Parang, ako na nga yung nag-bless, parang ikaw pa yung mali. Sino nakaka-relate? Alam ko, may kakila- hindi kayo yon, may kakilala kayo. Okay, siguro na, parang ganun, di ba? Parang, Pag ikaw yung nandun sa sapatos ng lalaki na parang grabe, sorry na po, ha? sorry na po. <laughs> ikaw pa yung magsasorry. Diba? But, but when people, diba, people whom you bless, diba, talagang inappreciate ka, talagang grabe naman mo kapag pasalama to, binigyan ko lang ng wall clock, diba? Parang gusto mo na siyang bigyan ng baterya, ng lahat ng watches, parang gusto mo na, you want to bless that person more and more because of the heart that she has or the person that, that ha, the ha, no, yung attitude niya lang, okay? So, it blesses our relationships and actually it's also good for your soul. Okay, meron pong kaaway, meron pong lason, there's this poison, there's this uh, enemy of thankfulness that even if you're a Christian, if you're not aware, if you're not uh, intentional about this, it could eat you up. And that's what you call um, the poison of entitlement. Entitlement uh, you know, leads to dissatisfaction, it leads to uh, being familiar with the things that you now have. And di ba? Pag nandiyan yung mga unfortunate events sa buhay mo, it's easy to, di ba, parang to be bitter na, Lord, I deserve more than this. Lord, they're unfair. They don't, my boss doesn't appreciate me. Di ba? My, my teacher, she plays favoritism. So, alam mo yun, madali kasing mag eh. 
But when you thank God for the things that you now have, diba, you, uh, it's like uh, drinking an antidote. Okay? Thankfulness is an antidote to entitlement. Okay, pag marunong tayo mag-act in generosity, in thankfulness, that's how we uh, over, uh, um, are enabled to overcome this, uh, this poison. So, uh, just to cap, no, nandun pala sa first point. But the point is, again, alam nyo, this, uh, this command that na sinasabi sa atin, give thanks, di ba? definitely, it's a life-giving instruction. Okay, and we obey not because of statistics and data. Yes, it's good. But we obey because God simply says so. Gratefulness, actually, that's the emotion. Okay? But thankfulness, that's the action. Okay? So, dapat lumabas yun in an, in an action. No? May, maybe in a way of generosity or thanking people. So, dapat makita itong dalawa sa atin. And that's a command. That's from God. Secondly, okay, genuine thankfulness is not only a command, it's all, it should always also be a constant thing. So it's not just one time every year, okay, at the end of the year, may tayong uh, thank, thank you preaching, or if you live in the States, uh, may tawag na Thanksgiving holiday. Okay, so talagang, it should be a, not a one-time thing, but a lifestyle. And uh, the verse we've read kanina, no? again, let's go back to that. Second uh, phrase I want to highlight is this. Give thanks, and sabi, in all Circumstances. It must be constant. It must be a part of us. Psalm 9 verse uh, 1 tells us, okay, pakibalik na lang. Psalm 9, chapter 9 verse 1 tells us that uh, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. And I will recount, okay, see that. Yeah, and I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. So makapapansin natin yung recounting pala, yung uh, giving thanks, number one, dapat from the heart. And we should be, you know, intentional about counting our blessings. Uh, counting the things that uh, God has done for us. So it must be from the heart, not just lip service, hindi lang galing sa nguso, no? Dapat galing sa puso. Okay, it's not just lips, the muscles being practiced, but it's actually coming from our, our hearts. Now, maybe some of you are thinking, no? Because uh, when I first followed Jesus, when I started reading the Bible, na encounter ko butong verse na to, syempre, as a Baby Christian, medyo casual pa ako magbasa, mabilis. So on a casual reading of this, parang makita mo, wow, thank God, give thanks in all circumstances for this, the will of God. So Lord, kahit masama yung nangyayari sa akin, will mo yun, tapos mag- mag-thank you ako sa'yo. Or yun yung initial, ano, so naghang lang yun until, you know, I really uh, meditated on it and looked at that. And you know, upon meditating on this, makikita niyo talaga no, na si God actually wise. Okay, and he even uses English language just to tell us about what he's pointing at. So, nung nag-refresher ho kami ng English 101, talaga nakita ko yung rules and yung importance ng preposition. So, medyo may, may preposition pala behind it. Sabi dito, mapapansin niyo, give thanks in all circumstances. Hindi sinabing give thanks for all circumstances. Iba yung in all, iba yung for all. Pag in all, ibig sabihin, the wisdom behind that even you are inside that circumstance na alam mong hindi ka ayaya, hindi tama, you can still give God thanks for who He is and He is still sovereign and He is still faithful. Diba? Ang point ko lang dito, syempre diba, when there's abuse, okay, when there's marital unfaithfulness, when there's a, a loss of a friend, okay, when there's a, you know, unfairness and there's sin and its effects, Hindi mo naman, Lord, salamat sa sin na to, ha? salamat sa effects na to, ha? salamat sa abuse. Ha? You don't take those circumstances, but even if, okay, naging victim ka, naging, you know, because we live in a fallen world, and talagang unfair mga tao, talagang, even if the situation is bad, it's tough. In that circumstance, in that situation, you can still give God praise. Amen? Because He is still in control, and He is still God. There's this uh, story about uh, a young woman who's struggling with depression. And grabe lang, uh, it affected her marriage, her parenting, and life in general. She want to throw the towel, okay? Talagang give up na. Okay, kasi hindi ko lang maintindihan, talagang nahirap. But you know what, buti na lang, nagpunta siya sa isang tao who counseled her, right? Sabi niya, sige, ganito, gawin mo practical, no? For the next 10 days, 
Okay, at the end of every day, spend 10 minutes listing down 10 new things you can be grateful for. Okay, ang galing lang kasi after 10 days, parang medyo naging ano siya, parang grabe pala, dami ko palang ipa, dapat ipagpasalamat kay God. And so what she did, sabi niya, sige God, ko, because she's an artist, uh, actually her name is uh, Haley Bartholomew. Okay, nag-speak siya sa TEDx. And sabi niya, uh, because of that experience, sabi niya, gumawa siya ng, ano, ng project. Ito yung tinatawag niya, 365 Grateful. Okay, so kinuha niya yung Polaroid niya. Okay, yung old Polaroid niya. And, and sabi niya, ito gagawin ko. Every single day, one day, one picture. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna take a picture of that event or that action or that something that I can be grateful for. So ginawa niya yun for 365 days. Okay, one picture at a time. And grabe lang, it changed her life, it changed her disposition in life, yung relationship niya, na save yung marriage niya, yung parenting niya. Grabe. Again, the principle of being constant. Okay, really exercising it. Ito na yung picture niya, from depressed ngayon, masaya na siya, ito yung kids niya, dalawa na. You know, it's, it's actually a constant thing. There's another, uh, sir, uh, there's another uh, talk by a guy who went through Harvard. Okay, meron mo ba dito nag-Harvard? Kagaya ko, in my dreams. <laughs> And there's this uh, Harvard student na nag-confess siya, sabi niya, actually, she's, uh, he's now one of the people na talaga nag rally for positive thinking. No? I don't think he's a Christian. I'm not sure about that. But he said na yung mga Harvard students pala, kahit sila, di ba, the fact na har- nakapasok ka sa school na yun, talagang grateful na grateful ka. Dito ako sa, sa cafeteria na mukhang Hogwarts, na talagang parang hotel. Talagang ganda, di ba? Pag umi- Ewan ko nakita yung picture sa Harvard, no? Grabe yung Harvard University. So the fact na nakapasok pa lang sila sa university na yun, talagang, Lord, talagang, nag- talagang, di ko alam kung may Lord yung iba, no? but <laughs> you know, thankful sila. Wow, well, thank, thank you. Okay, so kung atheist ka, tas wala kang God, kanina akong thank you. Anyway, but yo. <laughs> You know, talaga grateful sila. Pero after a few weeks, sabi ng Harvard student na to, sabi niya, I, I noticed that most of us, okay, nakalimutan na namin yung privilege. And we started, you know, naging eaten up na kami ng mga concerns and lahat ng mga projects, lahat ng achievements, kailangan namin patulayan sa sarili namin, dapat mukha kaming matalino talaga, yung mga ganun. So yung tendency is for all of us. And that's our tendency. If we will not work on this, magdi-drift away po tayo from the heart and the will of God. That's why we need to practice this. Now again, going back to that issue, what if you are going through tough times and you are here and you're saying, Pastor, you don't know what happened to me this year. I don't know. But you know what? Jesus knows. And I believe He is here. I believe He is what is telling you. I can relate with you. I know what you're going through. You can take heart because I have overcome the world. So if you're here, you're saying, Pastor, if you're here, your marriage is in cracks. A series of things are happening in your family. You're now reaping the consequence. You're a victim of abuse. Mahirap lang talaga. As in, I respect you. I'm not. But you know what? God still can speak to you and can minister to you. Here's the secret. What's the key to still thanking God? The, the last point I want to share. Not only it's a command, not only we need, we need to be constant about it. Number three is actually the key. In this text, we can see again. Rejoice always. Fast forward for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. The key to living a life na talagang malalim yung hugot mo that you could thank God, you know, this, is, this is the key. It's only impo- it's, it's, actually, this is only possible in a relationship with Christ. Because if you are in a relationship with Christ, I know, okay, <laughs> sa totoo lang, when we were preparing for this ni Pastor Alan, kahit kami, okay, pastors not exempted. We're also going through tough times. Okay, but what's the secret? Why can we still go here and preach the word? Why can we still meet people and encourage them and rise above the challenges? Because we know that by grace, we are in Christ. And in Christ, you can see things in the world 
on a bigger perspective. Totoo yun. It's healthy for you in all sides of dimension. But you know what? Ang kulang doon, kulang ng eternal perspective. It's not just good for you temporarily, but thankfulness is good for you for all eternity. It's good for you. When you are a Christian, when you are in a relationship with Christ, you see things on an eternal perspective. Kaya nga, when tough uh, things happen, alam ko madaling ikot, no? Pero, this is true. We know that in all things, in all circumstances, all things work together for good for those who love Him and are called according to His purpose. God is behind the scenes. He is still at work. And we can trust His heart. We may not be able to trace His hand, okay, what He's doing, but we can trust His heart. We can trust His intentions. Okay, we can trust Him for who He is. Another verse that Paul, alam naman natin si Paul, dami yung persecution and hard times, but still he was able to, you know, write much of the Bible. Sabi dito, so we do not lose heart that though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. Okay, for ito, kung feeling mo, ikaw yung bola, on all sides, grabe yung pressure, pero alam mo yung truth, that for this light moment, for this light momentary affliction is preparing for us, and sabi dyan, an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. So again, anong difference sa Christian? Okay, if you're a believer, kita mo yung eternal perspective. Sige, mangyari ng lahat, na mangyari, but I know, in eternity, it will turn out good. This problem, this issue is not forever. God is forever. And I'm in a relationship with Him. By God's grace, you know, we could uh, be thankful. You know, kaya, ito yung encouragement ko. If you're a Christian and you're going through tough times, you know, the key is to go back to the saving grace of Jesus. Kasi kung sasabihin mo, I deserve better, I, I really don't, uh, you know, see why things are happening sa akin. You know, ang, ang question, ano ba yung deserve talaga natin? Diba? What do we really deserve? Go back to the gospel. Ano bang deserve natin, sabi dyan? For the wages of sin is death. We all deserve to die. We all des- deserve to be condemned. You know, to receive God's punishment because we're all sinners. But because of His free gift of eternal life, we are now new people. We can have a new heart. Okay? We have eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Okay? Makikita mo talaga siya na wala nang ibang foundation for a person to be thankful but the saving grace of God. You know, saving grace is different from common grace. Common grace is uh, all the good things, even bad things, that all people, good and evil, experience. So kung umulan, di ba, pansin mo, umuulan din sa mga masasama, sa mababayat. All of us experience that. Okay, na-invento yung Facebook, okay, hindi lang siya limited sa mga mababayat. Okay, lahat, pati yung mga, mga criminal, okay, nandun din yung benefits ng Facebook, yung technology. Common grace po tawag doon. But because yung saving grace na sinasabi ko, is the grace that awakens you to the reality of the goodness of God in Christ Jesus. Okay na, Alam mo na mamamatay ka in your sins. Pag namatay ka, sige, kahit na masaya yung buhay mo, pero alam mo wala kay God, talo ka doon. Pero kahit na anong tough time na pagdaanan mo, you know what, you can say, you know what, actually, this is the closest to hell that I, I could be. Okay, so mga tao na hindi kilala si God, pero nakita niyo yung buhay nila, parang laging masarap, that is the closest to heaven that they could experience. But you know that you will be blessed for all eternity and therefore you can still praise God. Amen. Okay? There's one thing I want to uh, close with. You know, uh, totoo to, that indeed, genuine thankfulness flows from a heart that, is touched by, that has been touched by God's saving grace. Kung alam mong save ka na, alam mong ligtas ka na by His grace, even in tough times, you know how to thank God. You know that His intention is holy. He will never wrong us. Okay, but I may not understand what I'm going through, but I know my God is in control. And if you are here and you are not, you, know, you don't have that relationship with God, maybe that's the reason. Okay, kaya nag-struggle ka. Yung thankfulness mo, pang temporary lang. But you know, we want to encourage you to go beyond that, to experience the saving grace of God that will forever be your motivation in being thankful. This verse, again, is 
We'll be closing. Give thanks in all circumstances. This is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. There's uh, someone who quoted this, and I want to quote him, a pastor, a teacher, author. Sabi niya, to give thanks in all circumstances means that however adverse our circumstance may be, we could still rejoice and give thanks that God is still on His throne, that our Lord who became fully a man and experienced what living as a man in a sinful and chaotic world entails fully understands what we are going through. That the Holy Spirit who is in us is greater than He who is in the world. That nothing whatsoever would separate us from the love of God and that we could never lose our salvation. Give God praise. This is the God that we worship.